Hello and welcome to this topic, moments and the center of mice. The seesaw is very common that almost everyone has played it. Suppose that two mice, size M1 and M2, are placed on the seesaw at respective distance D1 and D2 from the falcon and to on opposite side of it. The seesaw will balance if and only if D1 M1 is equal to D2 times M2, just like this. And a good mathematical model for this situation is obtained by replacing the seesaw with a horizontal coordinate line and having the origin at the falcon. Then the coordinate x1 of m1 is x1 is minus d1 because x1 is to the left of the origin. And that of m2 is x2 is d2 and the condition for balance is x1 m1 plus x2 m2 is 0. The product of mass m of a particle and its directed distance from a point is called the moment of the particle with respect to that point. It measures the tendency of the mice to produce a rotation about that point. The condition for two masses along a line to balance at a point on that line is that the sum of their moments with respect to the point be zero. The situation just described can be generalized. The total moment m with respect to the origin of the system of n masses of sizes m1, m2 to mn located at points x1, x2 to xn along the x-axis is the sum of the individual moments. That is, the total moment is x1 times m1 plus x2 times m2, and so on. The condition for balance at the origin is that m is zero. Of course, we should not expect balance at the origin except in special circumstances. But surely, any system of mice will balance somewhere. The question is where? What is the x-coordinate of point where the falcon should be placed to make the system balance? Let's call the desired coordinate x-bar. The total moment with respect to it should be zero. That is, x1 minus x-bar times m1 plus x2 minus x-bar times m2, and so on. The total sum is zero. Or to simplify it, if we move x bar terms to the right, then we get this equation. That is x1 m1 plus x2 m2 and so on to xn mn is equal to x bar m1 plus x bar m2 and so on. Then when we solve for x bar, we obtain that the x bar is capital M over little m. That is the sum of xi mi over the sum of mi. Then the point x bar, called the center of mice, is a balance point. Notice that it is just the total moment with respect to the origin divided by the total mass. That makes sense. All right, now let's see one example. Jordanson, would you like to read this problem for me? Okay, example one. Masses of four to six and seven kilograms are located at points zero, one, two, and four. Respectively, along the x-axis, find the center of mass. Thank you so much. Would you like to share your ideas about this problem? Yes, we need to find the center of mass, and we know the center of the quotient of total moment and total mass. 
So we only need to find the total moment and total mass. Then we can solve it. Okay, thank you. Now let's solve it together. According to the formula, the point x bar, or we say the center of mass, is a balance point that the total moment divided by the total mass. That means the quotient of the two sums, like this. By plugging in the value, we get that x bar is 0 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 2 times 6 plus 4 times 7 and over the total mass, that is 4 plus 2 plus 6 plus 7. And the answer is 42 over 19 is about 2.21. From the graph and your iteration, we should confirm that x is 2.21 is about right for the balance point. Well, we discussed the moment and the center of mass for point mass today. Next time, we will consider the continuous situation. See you next time.